Hi everyone, it's Katrina with the Pelican Girls. Welcome to my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, push that subscribe button so you can keep up with all of my adventures. I, um, a couple of days ago, yeah, day before yesterday, I took off to Glenmora, Louisiana and went to a flea market type vendor mall and I also stopped at another flea market type. I, I actually went to two. One was in Glenmora and one was a little before Glenmora. And I wanted to show my haul from those two. Um, from those two, two stores. Okay. So the first one was Miss Ann's Flea Market in Glenmora. Super sweet lady. I've been in there. This is probably the second or third time that I have been in there. Um, things are, as, as far as um, retail, really good. There's a lot of really nice stuff. Um, if you're going in there to buy it yourself, awesome. If you're going in to, for a reseller, things are a little on the spendy side. So I was real picky at what I got. I really didn't find a whole lot. I did find a few things um, that I'm going to add to holidays for next year. Um, I'm probably going to put these off the side and kind of just, I don't know if I'm going to group things together with it, like other stuff that are part of the holidays, like this little cookie cutter. This is a vintage cookie cutter. And I love these because my mama had these in her kitchen when, when I was a child and we made cookies and stuff and they were in her drawer and I remember them. I did purchase from an estate sale a while back an entire set of them for like two bucks. So that's mine. But any of the ones that I am finding now, I am putting them off the side and either to sell in a live Facebook sale or to put together um, or to sell on my eBay store. So the first one is a little bunny rabbit. And they're in really good condition. There's nothing wrong with them. And the second one is in a different color. I haven't seen these. And it is a Valentine one. And I love it. It says, be my Valentine. So that was two things. This was like, I think 95 cents. This was like a dollar. So I did get those two there. Then the other thing I got, um, I paid $2 a piece for, um, I started spraying, spray painting this one. And they're just like a little message holders. It's like, you know, if you want to put a message in there, let's see. Or if you want to, um, I really don't have anything. I just put something like this. If you have like pictures, It'd be really good to put pictures it just it's just a little memo board or like I said if you have pictures or something you could put you know a picture in there and it'd be cute in a little girl's room it'd be cute in an office like I said I started spraying this one I have this one and then I have this one so I might leave one right like it came and then I'm gonna spray this one white just to give two different, um, two different options. And these will be in my live Facebook sale on February 3rd. I have decided to give those there. Okay. So that's all that was at Miss Ann's. Um, so if you're in Glenmora, please visit Miss Ann's Flea Market. She's a sweet, loving lady, and um, I really enjoy visiting with her. The other um, flea market, when I was on my way back home, I went ahead and stopped. It's called Country Girl Flea Market. And it's just a little off the side, you know, side of the road kind of flea market. And I did find a few um, vintage items there. I um, Her prices are really good. Um, this, this stuff was a dollar, two dollars, three dollars. So I think this was like $3 and I just love it. It is a syrup container, lid, nothing broken, perfectly good. It's, it's not antique or anything, but it is vintage. And I just loved it. I thought it would be really cute um, in a little 
beignet or um, in your kitchen. You could put um, sprinkles maybe in it if you're doing cookies. I thought that would be really cute. Um, just on your windowsill. It's really cute. And that will also be in my live Facebook sale. Okay, and the uh, this thing I found, it looks like a little ashtray trinket dish. It's got seashells on it. And it is Occupied Japan. It has it on the back. I don't know if you can read that. But it does have Occupied Japan on the back. And uh, no chips, no cracks. It was a dollar. This is going to go up on my eBay store. The next thing I found, I thought this was just adorable, and it is vintage. The thicker bottom ones are the vintage ones. See how thick this bottom is? That's how you tell if they're vintage or not. This one has one for the road, and it's a little Indian on his painted pony. Let me see if you can see it. I just think it is just adorable, and it was a dollar. It will go up on my eBay store. All right, and the last thing I got from there is probably my favorite thing. It is a little bird planter. It was $2 or a dollar. I don't remember exactly how much it was. It's very, very colorful. No chips, no cracks that I can see nothing it is like in perfect condition and like I said it is so it's so cute so colorful it's got a really good glaze there's like a little bit right here on his little beak I feel like the paint might have come off just very little but look at the little feet It is just made so cute, and I put, I thought it'd be cute with like a little succulent in it. This is not, a, this is a little uh, fake succulent, but look how cute that is. That is so cute. I'm not sure what I'm doing with this yet. It'll probably, I'm thinking it'll I don't know. I might have it on my live, live Facebook sale first and then put it in. And if it doesn't sell, which I wouldn't see why it wouldn't sell. But I think it's, it probably will go on my live Facebook sale. That's what I'm thinking. I just love it. I fell in love with it. I grabbed it. I just couldn't believe that it was there. And it was so such a good little price and nothing wrong with it. Because a lot of the stuff in her place... Um, a lot of that stuff after years I guess it sits and it, some of it's a lot of it's like chipped and for it to be in such good condition that was really I was excited about that just move all this over here and that's all that um, I got on that trip um, I was hoping to find more, but it just didn't work out. Uh, but I'm satisfied with what I got. I got a little bit for my live Facebook sale. I got a little bit for my eBay store, so that's always good. It's all you know. And I do post. Um, I do post on my Facebook page too, um, and sell things. So that's kind of. But you know, just getting stuff to where I it's you know, I can do do both. Um, that helps out a lot. So. Um, I am going to end this video. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Give uh, this video a thumbs up. Comment below. Have you been thr uh, thrifting lately? Where have you been thrifting? Um, you know, I'd love to see some of the stuff that y'all have um, found um, to share with us. Um, also, follow uh, me on Facebook and Instagram. Um, I show a lot of stuff on there too, and. Like I said, we'll be I'll be having a live Facebook sale February 3rd at 7:30, which is a Wednesday, which is next week. I'm um, getting ready for that. Um, so if you want to 
come if you see anything that you're interested in please come and uh, and check us out uh, like I said subscribe comment thumbs up uh, thanks guys till next time bye